Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, are you wondering, do I need a Wi-Fi package on Carnival Cruise Lines? Well, my answer to you is, if you want to be connected to the outside world, then yes, you do do. In this video, I'm going to break down each of the packages that Carnival Cruise Lines has to offer, what they entail and what the starting price will be. Then you'll be able to make an informed decision on which package is right for you. You ready to get into it? Let's go. Before we get started in talking about the Wi-Fi packages that Carnival Cruise Lines has to offer, let's talk about the Carnival Hub app. Because I do not want people to get confused with the Carnival Hub app needing a purchase package within Wi-Fi to be able to use it. Carnival Hub app works on ship Wi-Fi that is included. So the Hub app is going to work regardless if you purchase a Wi-Fi package or not. So right. blanket it you're always gonna have access to the Carnival Hub app. What is the Hub app? The app is basically your navigation system while you're on the cruise to keep you in line of what's going on on the cruise. It actually has a chat feature that you can pay $5 for the week per person, entire week, and be able to communicate with those in your party. Other than that, there's nothing else that you can really do on that Carnival Hub app with the included ship Wi-Fi. All right. Now let's get into the Wi-Fi packages that you need to pay for to be in, attached to the outside world. <laughs> Before we break down the different um, Wi-Fi packages that Carnival Cruise Lines has to offer, let me explain the Carnival Hub app and the absence of needing a Wi-Fi package to use that. Often that is a confusion and a topic that most people think that they need to buy Wi-Fi yep. <laughs> to be able to use the Carnival Hub app. The Carnival Hub app works off of the provided ship Wi-Fi, and it's basically used to be a navigation tool to keep you informed what's going on on the ship, the schedule of the ship, the different events, and it also includes a chat feature that you have to pay for if you want to utilize that. That right. is $5 for the week, Per person. So if you want to be able to chat with your people on board in a cheaper way, you can do that through the Carnival Hub app, which is free and no Wi-Fi package is included. All right. So let's get into the packages that you need to pay for to be <laughs> to be connected to the outside world. You ready for it? Let's go. The first plan that Carnival offers is called the social Wi-Fi plan. As of April the 6th, 2024, mm -hmm. that plan is $15.30 per person per day. Mm -hmm. So what does that include? That Wi-Fi package allows you to get access to your most popular uh, social media sites, airline sites. Mm -hmm. um, basically that. It also lets you get access to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Super Chat, um, mm -hmm. not Super Chat, Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> so you get access to those types of sites when you use Carnival Social Plan. Also, you want to know that you should always, always book your Wi-Fi plans in, in advance because mm -hmm. Carnival will give you a 15% discount if you book in advance. So if you wait until you get on board, it's, it's going to cost you more money to get the plan. Also, you got to make sure that you book your Wi-Fi plan before the day before embarkation day at 11.59 p.m. Let me say it again. 11.59, you better get it pre-booked. <laughs> if not, you're going to be paying a little bit more. 15% more because you're not going to get the 15% discount for buying it early. And note, this does not work with any other websites or apps. So keep that in mind before you make this purchase. The next Wi-Fi plan that is their most popular plan is called the value plan. So I'm going to look down and tell you what that entails. It usually starts at $19.55 per person per day. Yep. And on this plan, you can browse the websites, including email. So those are the other social package, you have no access to your email box at all. So you do get email access on this plan. You can surf the web for news, sports. Um, you cannot do Skype calling. You cannot nope. do any kind of streaming on this one, but you do have access to, um, to surf your favorite sites 
email, like I said, news, sports, weather. You can get into your banking. Yes. You can look into your finances while you're um, on this particular Wi-Fi package. But again, no Skype calling, no music or video streaming. Right. So that includes YouTube. Spotify, no. Nope. No Netflix, no. But what I will say is if you download things on those particular sites and those apps, yes. you can use them because now you're offline. That's right. So don't get it twisted. If you have Netflix <laughs> and you have the ability to do some downloading, I don't even remember if you can or not. Um, go ahead and download your favorite things and you'll be able to view them. The same thing on YouTube. Download your stuff. You'll be able to view it that way. If you're a person that like podcasts, you get the drift download it but streaming is not allowed on this particular um package yep and the same rules apply that you get the 15 percent discount mm -hmm. if you book it in advance and you got to book it by 11 59 uh p.m um before embarkation day and just because and i know you guys are first time cruisers that are showing up that embarkation day is the day that you get on a cruise so yep. just in case you don't Know that, but that rule also applies to every other plan. So we got exactly. one more plan that we gonna be talking about. Two more. Well, two more <laughs> plan. Well, two, yeah, two more because we got a bonus one for y'all. The next plan that they have is the premium Wi-Fi plan. So basically, with mm -hmm. this plan, you can do just about everything. Mm -hmm. um, this plan, as of recording this video on April the sixth, is twenty one dollars and twenty five cents per day per person. Uh, to be able to have that, you got access to your emails, video calls, Skype, Zoom. It's also three times faster than the value plan, and mm -hmm. which we can attest to that, yeah, because we most of the time switch between the value plan and yeah. the premium plan. All depends on if we decide to work on the ship because um, we are travel agents. Well, my queen is a travel yeah. agent, so sometimes when we're cruising, we have to get a Wi-Fi plan work. <laughs> so we can work. So most of the time, we got to do that. We will get the premium, premium plan. But if we ain't working, it's the value plan it's the for value. us. It also includes you be able to, uh, yeah. So it's all the, the screaming Skype, Zoom, team calls, stuff like that. So if you ain't looking to do that, the premium plan really ain't for you. So if you are a YouTube buff and you don't download YouTube videos before you get on the ship. Premium. As, as, yeah. Premium um, plan will be, will be perfect for you. And the last package we want to talk about is a newly added package, but I'm not also 100% sure it has rolled out to every ship. So notate this, keep it in mind. If you're going on a sailing, look for it to be available in your um, hub app or on your um, cruise manager. If it isn't, then that just simply means they haven't rolled it out to your ship yet. Right. But it is called the multi-device premium Wi-Fi plan. I love it because this plan allows up to four devices to be connected to one Wi-Fi plan that is purchased at $75 per day. Right. Hello. <laughs> and like I said, it is the premium Wi-Fi package. So everything that my husband just said, right. this is what this package is going to entail. It does save you a little bit of coin. So if you're a person that's traveling with the family of four, then in my opinion, this is the way to go if everyone needs to be hooked up to Wi-Fi or at right. least at a premium level. Right. So definitely keep that in mind. Keep it on the forefront. Look out for that because this is something that is fairly new to Carnival Cruise Line. All right, there is usually some frequently asked questions mm -hmm. that people ask about the Wi-Fi. So one of the questions to ask, is there free Wi-Fi? No, not on the ship. You would yeah. never ever get free Wi-Fi on Carnival ship. But however, you may be able to get free Wi-Fi in some ports. And what I mean by ports, that means their destination, Bahamas, Mexico, Jamaica. Right. You may have access to free Wi-Fi there, but it is not guaranteed. So I would not go anticipating free to get free Wi-Fi. <laughs> if you really want the Wi-Fi, get the cruise Wi-Fi. Yes. The next frequently asked question is, is mm. Wi-Fi worth, worth it? it? Listen, even if the Wi-Fi is spotty, shady, 
act like it doesn't know you while it's on board. Right. <laughs> Having some sense of Wi-Fi is better than no Wi-Fi at all. Amen. So the answer to the question is within the question itself. If you need to be connected to the outside world, if you need to type www, if you need to press an <laughs> app on your phone, right. you're going to need some type of Wi-Fi because other than that, you're not going to be able to to do it. Device limits. We get this question too. How many devices can I use if I buy the Wi-Fi package? Right. You only can use one device at a time for each of the packages. So what that means is if you're using their Wi-Fi on your phone, mm -hmm. you will have to switch it off and put it in. If you want to use your laptop or your tablet, you're going to have to switch it from your phone yep. and over to your laptop. Them. You cannot use them simultaneously together. Nope. So basically one device at a time per plan. And that only the only exception is the multi-device plan. Right. Which is up to four. Next frequently asked question. Can I use my phone while on board? Now, if you're new to our channel, welcome. <laughs> if you're old, you will know that we tell you immediately you need to put your phone in airplane mode. Does Wi-Fi work on airplane mode? Absolutely does. Yes. Does the Carnival Hub app work in um, airplane mode? Absolutely. It's the only way it does work, honestly. Right. So will your phone work? It all depends on what phone plan you have with the carrier of your choosing. Right. What I mean by that, does T-Mobile have some sell and see and land and see packages? They absolutely do. Do Verizon have international da 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 da, -da plans? Yes, they do. But you need to be very careful and call them and ask them the specific questions. Does it cover me in roaming while I'm on the ship? Mm. Does it cover me only when I am on land in an international destination while sailing to said destination? So you have to know the specifics of what your plan actually carries. Because just because it says land and sea doesn't right. actually mean that it may cover those roaming charges because you could be connected, but it may not cover your roaming charges. So make sure you know that beforehand. Also, another thing that we get is, will my eye messaging work while at sea? It is kind of like a twofold question, <laughs> a twofold answer, right. because technically it's not supposed to, but in my experience, it's been hit or miss. I have been on the social Wi-Fi package yeah. and I message works seamlessly. Right. I have been on premium Wi-Fi and I message I thought was working, but there would be a ton of emails that would come through the day of disembarkation that were happening while I was on the ship that it, they just didn't come through. So if you want to go in banking on your iMessaging working, I would not. Right. But it is an option. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. What is the cheapest Wi-Fi package to get to enable iMessaging? Usually the social package will do it. But to be on the safer side, just do the value package if you really want to tap into your iMessage. The next hot <laughs> frequently asked question we get is, can I buy one Wi-Fi package and share it with my friends that are in the cabin with me? You absolutely can. But here is the thing. There's a unique number that you have to put in to be connected to the Wi-Fi on the device. So for instance, if I'm connected and I'm the only one that has purchased the Wi-Fi, of course, if I'm logged in, I have to log out. But I will have to give him my access yep. um, key, which is a folio number. The folio number. I'm yep. going to have to give him that. He's going to have to know my full date of birth, which he does. And then he will be able to do that. But here's the gag. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all want to be conversing together in real time and on social medias and all of that, it's not going to happen. Right. Because he's using your access, you're using your own access. It's a cluster, but can it be done? Yes. Do I recommend it? No. no. It's, it's more headache just, than just it's Just buy better. your own plan. Just buy your own plan. Just buy your own plan. Just buy your own plan. There's another question that we get um, asked a lot, and it's really because... We're in the age of technology, gaming, and things like that. Right. If I bring my Nintendo Switch and things like that on board, will it work? Can we use that 
on to the TV stream and to the TV and the answer is no. Yeah. They have disabled your ability to plug into their TV to stream anything. Basically, any settings of theirs that need to be changed to enable your device to be on that screen does not Power. happen. Nah. It does not work. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yeah. And then if you have cords that need to be plugged into the back of the TV, most of the time they have those port accesses um, sealed off. Right. And the last thing is kind of a bonus, but it's a thing that most people do not talk about. And we've we've named off all of the Wi-Fi package options that are available on board. Right. And in my opinion, if you need to be connected to Wi-Fi, that's the way to go. But there are opportunities to pay for Wi-Fi as you go and per day once you get on board. Right. Is it way overpriced? Absolutely. Uh -huh. Because one, you're just paying for either that day or you're paying for like 30 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour increments. And to wait, the way to do it in those 15, 30 to hour increments, right there in the Lido deck area, right in that hallway before you go through those double glass doors, there is a computer bank of different computers that sit in there. Usually that's where you're able to do the purchasing of the incremented Wi-Fi, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. Right. You have to use the Wi-Fi right there. So I don't like that, but it is an option if you want yep. to do it at a cheaper way. In a cheaper way. Well, okay. without having to pay for it for the whole week. The whole week. <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video, you want to check out this video on the screen right here. 26 tips for the first time Carnival Cruiser. In this video, we're going to give you even more tips so you can get on your first cruise with confidence. Nice. And you will be like a pro. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Peace.